Hey guys, we're here today. Got a really nice day, so I thought we would do a demonstration on the JD Skiles pit stop system. Uh, this, this system is set up on our 1750 gallon gooseneck trailer. Uh, we got a shuttle of water on it, and we got that water connected just like the Kimmick would be to a couple of the metering tanks. Uh, we got it connected to the 15 gallon right there, and we got it connected to a 40 gallon right there. We're just teeing off so that we can demo both tanks for you. We got this really nice swing out hose arm on this one that makes a three inch hose easy moving around. We're just going to connect this outlet hose that normally goes to your sprayer to the back of the tank here. We're just going to recirculate for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to kind of walk through this real quick uh, before I start this engine and it gets a little loud so you kind of know what I'm doing and what, what's happening at that point. The valves are in what we call a starting position right now. Um, we got our main flow valve. It's off right now. I kick it on. That's full three inch flow. We want it shut off so that we dramatically reduce the amount of water that's going on the sprayer as we're pulling all of our chemicals. Once I start the engine, I'm going to come over, I'm going to open my Venturi valve. That's going to create a suction in this line right here that goes to each of these valves, what we call a vacuum valve that's on the face of the tank. So if I want to pull chemical into this tank, I'm going to open up the valve and I'm going to take my three-way valve and push it away from me or toward my shuttle. It's going to instantly start to draw the chemical from the shuttle in. You're just going to watch it go up on the scale. When you get the desired amount, you're just going to pull this halfway back. You can double check. And then to load it on my sprayer, I'm just going to pull forward and I'm going to release my vacuum. Now my product is going onto my sprayer. It's hitting my water up at my Venturi and heading to my sprayer. Once my chemical is out and I'm done with this tank, I got a rinse system on each of the tanks and if I come over here, I open the rinse valve, it's going to shoot water up the side gauge to rinse it, it's going to swirl rinse the tank down, I'm going to let that suck out, it's following the exact same path my chemical took all the way to the sprayer, once I'm done with that I shut it off, let it suck that water out, valve back to the starting position, and I move to my next product. Uh, we have an inductor tank on this setup as well. So if you're using any dries or jugs or anything, you're going to use it at this point. Uh, this is our turbo tank. This is a 15 gallon tank on this setup. Uh, we have a knife system in it to slice the jugs open so you don't have to take the tops off all the time. It's got a, a, a tank rinse, it's got a jug rinse, and it's got two jets in there. Those, you kick those two jets on when you're doing any types of dries. Really good. Helps really dissolve and break down any clumps or anything like that. We also got a scale in it uh, that goes up to 15 gallons as well. Move this up out of the way and start the system up. Uh, when I start it up, I'm gonna idle it up to about 40, 50 PSI, someplace in that area. Give and take, the slower I start dropping from that, the slower it pulls the chemical. Um, but you don't need to go more than about 40, 50 PSI for about for max output of it.
that simple. Uh, once you're done, you shut it off. We topped off with water. Just pull this handle back so that you're ready for your next load. All the valves are in a starting position. Unhook from your sprayer and away you go. That's the JD Skiles pit stop system. If you have any questions, you can uh, give us a call at JD Skiles or visit us online at jdskiles.com.